investigating the suicide terrorist and, and that's that that means we need to sneak into the police station. Hello. Adam, were you just speaking to David? I didn't know he'd finished his call. Is everything okay? As well as can be expected. Right, like I know what that means anymore. The phone's been ringing off the hook ever since Bill Taggart's little press conference this evening. Taggart? Seraph was speaking about him when I walked in. What's the founder of the Humanity Front saying about us now? Oh, he's all Humanity sincere front. this time. Denouncing all the violence that's been committed against us, offering to come here in person to express his deepest sympathies. He's probably a really right. nice person. No wonder the boss seems grumpy. <laughs> Can you blame no him? If it were up to Luddites like Taggart, you would have died on that operating table. The problem is, he knows how to play on people's fears. Sounds like Tempering a populist. Tempering biology can be pretty scary. Tell that to all the war ants whose lives have been improved because of it. But if Taggart has his way, if he can sway popular opinion enough, then the United Nations will be forced to take a stand. Mark my words, that man is trouble. Hello. Hey, Jensen. Team. Man, it's good to see you. I'm glad you're back. How are you holding up? I manage. I'm sorry about Megan. I know it must be hard. For a while, we thought you were a goner, too. Everything's going to shit. The attack on HQ, and now this mess with the factory. Yeah. Tough times all around. How about you, Corella? You okay? I don't know. I... Uh, I fucked up. I mean bad. What happened? Well, a couple of months ago, me and Tyndall, you know, one of Pritchard's texts, we started sneaking out some neuropazine from one of the labs. Jesus, Tim. You realize this could get you fired. Worse, arrested, if the company chooses He's to prosecute. To security what were you chief. thinking? I know. It's just... It's complicated. I didn't want to do it at first, but there were good reasons. Anyway, now I want out, but Tyndall has security footage of me stealing the stuff and says he'll expose me if I ever stop helping him. I'm in a bad spot, Adam. I need that footage back. I know you're busy with everything that's going on right now, but I could really use your help. Pretty ballsy stealing a patented drug from a secure lab. How'd you manage to do it? Both Tyndall and I worked the night shift every other week. I stashed the neuropocene in a bag while he edited the security footage. Guess he kept part of it. Neuropathy. What could you guys want with an anti-rejection drug for augmentation patients? Reselling it? Providing a competitor? Why do you automatically assume I was trying to turn a profit? Hilda. Hello, Yarpa. <laughs> Good to see you. How about Tyndall? Can't you reason with him? You could try, but Tyndall's a pretty driven guy. I mean, the guy's like a rock. You need a Casey Og or something to crack him. Casey? Social Enhancer. It's an augmentation designed to read people's reactions and behavioral patterns. Higher end series even allows you to directly influence people with pheromones or something. Sounds really useful. We can, we can actually get that. Quest, quest details. And I should care about this because... Damn, Adam. Are you really going to shake me down like this? <laughs> this That's game cool. has a quest details. I'm hurting here. Look, I may be able to get my hands on a weapon mod for you. Jeez, I never thought I'd have to buy your help. Wow. What is it exactly you need me to do? I need you to get back that security footage Tyndall has on me. It's probably in his apartment. On his computer, maybe. So what? I just look him up in the phone book? His eli, apartment eli, is near Brooklyn Court. It might be tough to get seuraavaksi. in because his building has a large security gate the... protecting it. Well, that's just hey, please. Crazy. Hacking the security gate is possible, Pause. but would require advanced hacking skills. You might have to look around for an alternate path. Maybe use the fire escape or something. All right. Tell me more. Really? Wow. Thanks, Adam. I thought I was done for. The security footage will probably be on his apartment computer. Meet me in front of the subway station parking lot once you get a hold of it. I got it from here. Basically, this is free roam now uh, after first mission, and well, this is going probably going to take some time. Hey, I can observe employees from here. Nice. 
Mrs. Reed? Oh, Adam, I'm sorry you startled me. And please, call me Cassandra. You and Megan were together long enough. I was waiting for you. Out here? Why not come meet me inside? I don't know. I guess I'm just not ready. This is where you work, but to me, this is also the place where I lost my daughter. A funny thing about uh, 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 Elias Tofex is, is a voice actor of Adam Jensen, and uh, Megan was actually actually the voice actress was uh, <laughs> his wife, real life wife. So <laughs> that's that's pretty pretty close. Detach. I know what you mean. It's never been the same for me either. I guess it's not meant to be easy. It seems there's just no right way to deal with something like this. And I can't even begin to imagine how things have been for you after all you've been through. Yeah. A lot of things changed six months ago. I can't get over how much they've changed you. At first I couldn't even believe you were still alive. How do you handle all of this? Detach. I do what I have to do, augmented or not. You seem very pragmatic, Adam. Maybe you should be careful not to trivialize such traumatic changes. Can I ask why you wanted to see me? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. I'm here about Megan. About what happened to her, or rather, about the investigation into what happened. What about it? Well, simply put, I feel something is not quite right with the way the case was handled. You think there was some foul play involved? I do. Call it mother's intuition. But when speaking to some of the investigators, there were a lot of inconsistencies. And then I met this detective, a man called Chase. He agreed things weren't handled by the book, although he has no proof. And now you want to find out more? I'll never hear my daughter laugh again, Adam. I'll never get a call from her to ask how I've been, or have the chance to ask her about her day. She was stolen from me. However unjustified this all is, I still want to know so why this it is happened. Modded. You're not the same, so that this, Adam. This, uh, and we've yet to see if it's for better or worse. Shade at her. But I know you loved Megan. Please, will you help me find out what really happened to her? I never got a chance to investigate the attack myself. I'll look into it. Thank you. This means the world to me, Adam. Really. The first thing I'll need to do is meet with this detective, Chase. Good. He works part-time as a security guard in an apartment building on Brooklyn Court. I'll be waiting for you in your apartment lobby once you're done. Why does a detective need to work part-time as a security guard? Oh, need a he retired job. soon after the case. Uh, I don't okay. really know the details. Maybe he'll tell you more. Okay, I'm he's, he's not a cop anymore. Okay. Interesting. can be too, too uh, careful. So... Here's the map. So this is n this is hub, but it's not terribly big. Well, it's it's big, but it's not terribly big. Still enough to get to get the message 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 across that this is a city. Lesser evils. Let's, let's leave that on and see where that. Okay. If 
Where's the tree? Is there? And where is that apartment? So we are first going to the apartments and looking around. You it? We have the place and I wonder if I can mod Since when we this the screen so it's it's uh, the view, uh, point of view is a little bit, 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 bit wider. So of course we are going to check check all the. <laughs> One beer. You got any credits to spare? I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna use them to buy boots. Okay. <laughs> right. Up. Uh, that was mistake. Honest mistake. I was <laughs> going to press the cancel and press the stun button. Well, again, okay, nobody saw me. Okay, so we need to go through here. This is just a bodyguard. You got anything you want to buy or sell? I'm the guy you want to deal with. Everything's on the computer, right at your fingertips. Okay, sounds legit. Your average friendly gun shop. Yep, this looks about Detroit. Grayson hooked me up with some real tight merch. So maybe maybe practice could uh, unlock the hacking skill. Apparently we are going to need like hacking, hacking level two if we want to go like non-violently. Mr. Jensen, David Serlov told me you'd be dropping by. I've just been reviewing the test results we received on you last week. Oh, Should I start rolling up my sleeves? Surprisingly, no. I see no trace of glial tissue buildup in any of your charts. It's been six months, Doc. Shouldn't I be under opposing shots by now? One would think, but these test results show no signs of implant rejection. If anything, the bond between tissue and electrodes seems to be getting stronger. So I'm free to go? Well, Mr. Seraph did ask me to discuss another topic with you. You are aware that several precautionary measures had to be put into place during your first surgery? Not all of my implants were or something. Off. I know. The damage caused by the hematoma had to be taken into account. Your brain needed time to recover, to get used to the mechanical neural processors and turn them on naturally over time. Cut to the chase, Doc. What does Seraph want? He feels that you might be ready to speed up the activation process using special software known as Praxis Kits. Yeah, yeah. You mean I don't have to wait for my augmentation to kick in naturally tutorial. anymore? You That's can, good. if you prefer. But Mr. Seraph did make a generous donation to Lim in your name. Thus ensuring that Praxis software linked to your particular neuro enhancements would always be available to you and you alone. Please, take a look. Okay, I got one Praxis. Is it at the military grade? Bumble. Five K. Oh, well, sure. Pro energy bar par. Very well, Mr. Jensen. Use it in good health.
So now uh, we need to upgrade the hacking level. So which one is it? Capture. Hack level 2 terminals. Okay. Disable turrets. System. I don't want to blow up people. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be hacking stealth. This is going to be like um, pretty important on the, on the later stealth enhancer. I um, I recall that in my first playthrough I played pretty far with a stealth without stealth enhancer. So it's it's definitely possible. Social enhancer. Is this two points? Yes, this is two points. Dr. Teasdale to X ray. Dr. Teasdale to X ray. Protesting is not against the law. I know that, officer. But some of those guys were carrying tire irons and setting garbage cans on fire. And those were the ones we arrested. The rest were merely exercising their right to free speech. What about my right to come to work each day without fearing for my life? I've still got to walk home tonight. I understand your concern. But if you want round-the-clock protection, I suggest you hire a private security company. Yep. So, we can, we can try this a couple times. I make a gamer move and save right here. Yeah, I think the stealth upgrade with the with the hacking was like mandatory. If if, if you want to hack, you need, you just need to get it. And I can actually, if I nuke this, it's getting close Access granted wow I, I thought that one place was actually um, the place I need to hack but the over node I need to hack but wasn't so well that's one new virus Apparently, I'm going to get like more praxis points if I if I level up experience points. Sixty percent chance to de get detected. Fifty-fifty. <laughs> Granted. Two and a half seconds left. Yeah, definitely going to need a. Too heavy. I recall I haven't actually used those uh, arm oaks, so make make myself uh, more more strong. Biohazard bomb. Okay. Get calls is zero 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 two. Okay. Hazards call the attack. An extremely regrettable affair. 
No wonder the people are. And he's American, so of course he has a, he has a gun. Well, this is going to lead another. I need my new. Another smackdown. I'm going to sell this shotgun. It's too dangerous for you. But sure. What do you think if somebody's breaking into your home? The black. Okay, that was Tyndall. Meet somebody behind the abandoned gas station on Second Street. Brian Jensen, what are you doing here? I think you know why I'm here, Tyndall. I want Corella's security footage back. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm Seraph Industries' chief of security. I'm pretty sure I can find out about an edited security tape. So don't bullshit me. Ah, oh, shit. Listen, Jensen, so I never wanted things to get this bad. I'm not a bad guy. I feel for Corella, I really do. But sometimes, for a good cause, you have to get your hands dirty. Oh. There's a good cause now? Oh, I see. You think I'm selling the stuff, right? Yep. I understand why this would seem like an obvious motive, especially to an ex-cop. But trust me, you shouldn't always take things at face value. I'm not selling the neuropazine, I'm giving it away. Giving it away? To who? To the people who need it. You think everyone gets augmented by choice? No. Shit happens. And then what? You're saddled with neuropazine injections for the rest of your life. And that shit costs money. But what choice do you have? Without the drug, you'll die. Rejection syndrome, crippling pain. That just ain't right. So I did the only decent thing to do. I stepped up. I wonder how I should use this this uh, argument. So it, it clearly states that he's more alpha than beta. Some kind of tutorial would, would have been like nice. Do I need to emphasize uh, beta or, or antagonize alpha? Or emphasize alpha and antagonize beta? Or <laughs> what this game actually needs me to do? Whatever your reasons, Corella wants out, and it's his right. Blackmail is still blackmail. I won't leave without that footage, Tindall. I'll screw the footage. Right now I've got two local pushers on my back because they say my philanthropic actions are undercutting their profit. That's not your only problem. A gun-toting client was waiting oh, for you in your close. apartment earlier. Really? In my apartment? Shit, the dealers probably sent him. Tell you what, I'll deal with the client later. You take care of the dealers, and the footage is yours. Okay, Alpha's can be appeased, but Beta will be angered by the probes. Okay. Look, you're right. You're in a tough situation. I wish I could help you out of it, but it's your mess, right? You're the one who's got to step up and do it. He sounds just like my old man. You're lucky I respected the dude. Here. Here's the footage. Guess I gotta face the mess I got myself in. Did you get it yet? Adam, please. You have to get that security footage back. I got the footage. You owe me one, Tim. Yeah, you got that right, Jensen. I mean, thank you so much. 
This is my life I just got back. Here, there's the weapon mod, as promised. Listen, I know you were trying to do a good thing, and I respect that. But you should do it through proper channels. Next time you might not get this lucky. Yeah, you're right, Adam. I know you're right. Listen, thanks again. Hello there. Well, you must be Adam Jensen. A keen observation. Mrs. Reed told me you might pay me a visit. And don't take this the wrong way, but you're kind of hard to miss. I'll try to take that as yeah. a compliment. She told me you might have information regarding Megan Reed's case and the attack on Seraph headquarters. Oh boy, what a mess. Total pissing match. We had the feds on our ass, orders from three different departments, and pressure from so many lobbyists, it felt like being the scrawny new kid in a prison shower. It is a very high-profile case. Mrs. Reed said you thought some procedures were overlooked. You got that right. I mean, you know how it is. Mrs. Reed told me you used to be a cop. There's always cases where you see the lazy officers taking shortcuts. But this... this was different. Different how? Too much stuff got overlooked. People seemed way too eager to jump to conclusions, and every time I was remotely insistent, I got turned down by ranking officers. People wanted to bury this thing fast. That's never a good sign. Surely you have something more substantial than this. Yeah, well, that's where you come in. I got a couple of leads I could never fully investigate. I started poking around, but these government-type agents just gave me the creeps. I, I got scared. Months away from retirement, Maybe I didn't black, want to fuck things up. Probably. But you? You obviously have the means to get to the bottom of this. So what have you got? First off, there's a rumor that the order to close the investigation came from higher up. Maybe even outside the local department. Anything like that would have passed through Captain Penn. There might be traces of this left on his office computer. Guess I'll have to pay a visit to the local the police precinct. Station. Well, well, while you're there. There was an officer assigned to the case, Chet Wagner. He's not what you call a choir boy. And when he suddenly got brought on the case, I got suspicious. Somebody wanted him there. And I'm pretty sure he tampered with some of the evidence. You should talk to him. Find out what he knows. Okay. I'll have a little chat with Officer Wagner. You'll most likely find him in the lobby. He got retrograded from his conduct, and he takes depositions now. He won't budge easily, but I'm pretty sure you can find some dirt on him on his desktop. His office is on the third floor. He might find something there to help loosen up his tongue. Anything else worth looking into? Yeah, when the order came down to close the case, the bulk of the evidence was stashed in a storage locker. Maybe you can find some interesting stuff in there. It's on the alley right next to the station. The code is 40... 4891. 4891. But I know an outside agency had access to that locker, so be careful. Thanks for the heads up. Bah, it's, it's nothing. And, uh, oh, uh, please... Don't bother coming back here with details. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad to help. But the less I know about this case, the better I'll feel. You said an outside agency may have tampered with a storage locker. What did you mean by that? Well, I've seen... Uh, I mean, I've heard that government agents may have locked up some of the more sensitive evidence in a safe inside the locker. Come on, Chase. What are you not telling me? Damn it! Okay, listen. I snooped around that locker before, and found the safe code. But I kinda got caught by one of those guys. He knows I know, Jensen. If I give you the code, they'll know I talked. Call me negative, but I can't think of a nice outcome to that. I think he is Omega. I mean, I counted like five times Omega and four times Beta. I want that safe code. And you know I have the means to make you talk if I want to. Look, I've been threatened by mobsters, gangers, pimps and dealers for 40 plus years. And it's not like I gave you nothing. So come on now. There's no need for these unpleasantries. Okay. That didn't work out.
find the purity first agitators on the streets. Please report it. We don't want any more trouble. Okay. All right, officer. I'll just practice my parkour here. Can't, can't probably climb over there. There's like side way. I don't know if I correctly implemented those new textures. Beat it, loser. Loser. Tension can't actually pull his weight. Okay, we are not somewhere down here. Damn Ogs. How hungry bastards. Oh, right. one of them. That's not not really looking safe. I think that was one of those augmentations that, that you should actually take. Like protection from the electricity. you looking at? Because I know it ain't my charming good looks. Okay. Pro energy bar. I don't know why I did take the gun off. Stun So here's the then then again we can actually hack this place. Hack the world. Incident report left to lay, lay on the table. Definitely professional attackers, quick rundown, no trace evidence. What seems to be point of entry? All marksmen. like dead dead like pretty dead so she's she's burned throat was crushed
something is off. To the burn the bread place. The speculation surrounding that hostage situation is blown through the roof. Yeah, yeah, hang on just a sec. Shit. Jensen? Haas. Surprised to see you here. Yeah, well, I guess you're better at looking out for yourself than I am. I don't have time for your self-pity. I need to get into the morgue. That's it? Oh, forget it. I don't know what's going on with that body down there, but my orders come from the brass. No one gets in. First thing you say to me Fantastic. after almost two years is you want something? Should I have given you an order? You've always been very good at following those. God damn. Where do you get off being so self-righteous? You think I like this? Look at me. From SWAT team commander to a crummy desk sergeant in the Tubit precinct. I don't need this from you. I get enough of it at home. So either come up with something better than your usual attitude, or you can just forget it because you came to me. Okay. Aggressive exit excitable insecure. Okay, look, you're angry, and you've got a right to be. I'm putting you in a bad position, but I have to get inside that morgue. I won't let it get back to you. I'm always in a bad position. I don't believe this. I just got my life back together and you show up. When's it gonna end? You know the moment I open that door, it's all over, right? I'll be lucky if all that happens is I get fired. Is it really that important? Well, that's probably happening if you're shouting. He's, uh... Omega, yeah. Yes, your job is at risk. Yes, you've taken the blame for what happened in the past, but look, I need your help. And it's important. You got my word, whatever happens, I'll take care of you. That's good to hear. Look. I am so tired of having that incident so wrapped around my these throat. These two were yeah, in the same incident. I killed incident. the kid. He was augmented. He was a threat. That's what you do. We had civilians to protect. I don't need people always second-guessing me on that. Wayne, are you getting careless? That empty pill bottle in the trash over there. Yeah, I know this. Didn't you know antipsychotics are included in the force's zero tolerance drug policy? Oops. I, uh, I only need them until I get things sorted out. Y you can't do this. It's not right to use them against me. They'll fire me if they find out. I'll lose my pension, everything. Wow. But you would, wouldn't you? Fine, you're cleared. I'll tell the guys to let you through. But I'll never forget this. Yeah. That's a promise. <laughs> That's a promise. Oh, one practice point. Yes. Hack the world. So I have got one nuke. Should probably going to be detected. Let's go with the risk. <laughs> Access granted. Uh, I nuked the uh, nuked the nuked the nuked the last last node in, in, in a bit uh, split second. Make and read. What there's a make and read here. I thought it it was an anomaly at first, but it's become a genetics. But universal apps are assemblers are to net not technology. We are got talking about holy grade of DNA here. Here this is Gregor Mendel big thing is I have to bury the truth. Not a discovery, but how I reach my results. Betrayed by someone. Bigger than me, bigger than Sarif. So what what about Megan Reed genetics? Bracelet. Oh, 
Vegas here. Yeah? What do you want? Information. Then go bother the receptionist, Chrome Boy, instead of wasting my goddamn time. Not that kind of information. I want to know about the Seraph Industries case. Ha <laughs> ha! And I want a blowjob in a vintage 05 bar GT, so I guess we both keep on dreaming. Huh, metalhead? You talk tough, but we both know that's all you can do. Deep down, you're nothing but a coward. Well, trust me, tough guy. I'm the real thing. If you don't give me what I want, I won't beat you up. I'll kill you. Ah, uh, now listen, man, we, uh, we obviously officer. got off on the wrong foot here, right? Yeah, he broke I don't want down. no trouble. Talk. Okay, look. I just came in one morning, and there was an email with my new assignment in it. Official business. But there were also specific instructions. I had to check out the lab for footage from an IntelliCam. They told me to take it and leave it near a garbage can somewhere near the lake. What was uh -huh. on it? Well... It's not crystal clear, but mainly it shows the boys who attacked Seraph as they were breaching the labs. And it looked like they were bringing something in with them. Eh, impossible to tell what. Who asked you to do this? You think I know? Orders are orders around here. They always come from above. And nobody asks questions. You just do what they say, and you hope you don't end up like Secretary Haas over there. Captain Penn. Have his code here. So let's save here. I probably can't knock out anyone because, well, then they can come after me. Hearts of Steel. Okay, we need to hack this his computer. Probably detection. This is uh, start of this game is going to be, to be like a really ugly. Okay, so this is probably going to hurt. Let's run for it. Access granted. Got got lucky there, so uh Homeland Security Act advised. Joseph Manderley. I think we know who, the, who this guy is. If you have played the um, first, first Deus Ex. Six Sanders. So now we know who, who who's pulling the strings, but we don't get the um, we didn't get the um, go to the morgue. Um. Back away, pal. This has nothing to do with you. This is the new guy, probably. Okay, I need to write. Right, Billy, you gullible little bastard. You will be put in a camp 
for an indeterminate amount of time, Billy. So now we have some upgrades. About time. You the home sec guy I was ordered to wait for? Yep, you're sure. Tell Manderly I didn't get the memo until I was halfway through the autopsy. By then, it was too late to close him up again. Right. So you recovered the neural hub? Tricky bit of work that was. A few inches lower and the bullet would have fried more than just the pedal connectors. As it is, I can't guarantee you'll get anything useful out of it, other than the fact that it's been modified. Modified? With what? Some kind of wet drive. But hey, I didn't look. Ultraviolet means ultraviolet, and I know how touchy you guys get when it comes to matters of national security. He's all yours. The hub's been detached, but I left it in the skull, as ordered. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got paperwork to fix. Boss, I got the neural hub. Looks like it's been modified with some kind of wet drive. Pritchard should have a look at it. No, don't bring it here. Frank's not finished running his diagnostic, and I don't want to risk connecting any tech to our networks till he's done. Especially if the tech is military. So what do you want me to do? Take the hub to your apartment. I'll have Frank contact you there. This looks pretty snazzy place. Have you found anything? Please, I've got to know what really happened to me. Well, I've investigated all of Detective Chase's leads. You were right. Something was off with Megan's case. So, what did you find? There were only three people who got out of the labs alive. Me and two others. One died in the hospital a few days later. The second one, a lab tech, was ready to give a detailed description of what he saw. Funny thing is, by the time the investigators got to him, he couldn't remember a thing. You sound like funny, you don't believe thing. that. I don't. Not from the reports I've read. I think someone got to him first. An officer assigned to the case was asked to get rid of a major piece of evidence. Footage from one of our IntelliCams showed fuzzy images of the attackers bringing something inside the labs. What? What were they bringing in? I don't know. Probably bomb. But for someone higher up to want that evidence gone, it must have been important. I got my hand on a test report that confirms what was bothering Chase. The attackers used excessive measures to make bodies and equipment unidentifiable. Oh my god, Megan. What do you make of this, Adam? I don't know exactly. Suspicious. I guess the idea was to leave no traces, no DNA evidence that would link back to them. But it just seems a bit too convenient. Someone in the government, a man named Manderley, ordered that a specially appointed medical examiner perform the autopsy. He bypassed the local ME. Simply put, that's not a good sign. It sure doesn't sound good. So what you're telling me is we couldn't find anything conclusive? Pretty no, much. I'm sorry. But one thing's for sure. Somebody's been hard at work covering up and destroying evidence related to this case. Somebody with power. Who wanted to erase anything that might have made the investigation linger. I'm sorry, Cassandra. I wish I had more tangible answers to give you. But I did stumble on something I think you should have. I found Megan's bracelet. I'm sure she'd want you to have it. Oh, Adam. That's very kind of you. Her grandmother gave it to her. 
She loved that bracelet very much. Thank you for all you did. And um, do you, do you know exactly how Megan died? I read the reports. She didn't suffer, Cassandra. I can promise you that. Thank you, Adam. You can actually play it's awful not much, person in, but in it still game, brings me some comfort. I miss her so much. Don't worry, Cassandra. This is not over. I don't know how or when, but I will get to the bottom of this. I knew I was right to trust you, Adam. But please, be careful. It's strange. I thought knowing what really happened would make me feel better. But nothing will ever justify this. My daughter is gone, and I'll never get her back. I wish. I wish I could be sure she gets justice. Trust me, she will. <laughs>